Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from YouTube Shorts and uh, Tiki Taki. You know, passport bros. Dating coaches seem to really hate people like me telling men to travel overseas. And they really want to dog on passport bros. But we all know why. Because they're losing <laughs> customers and clients in a sense. Because it's not worth it. So please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to that. Ciao. Ciao time. Passport bros are people who travel to different countries mm -hmm. and pay. It's called sex tourism. It's like you can't get a girl in your general in your general location. <laughs> wow, that's funny. <laughs> so you travel 17, 17 uh, hours away to uh, find you know, a wife or a prostitute one two or well, submissive traditional 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 sorry, is what traditional they is, traditional woman. woman traditional woman like they haven't done this with somebody else before you but you know hey hey as long as they as long as they say they could cook as long as they say they go to treat you like a man it's all good passport bro again always the men that have never traveled 17 hours big shits like Fucking, that's not that long to travel somewhere and spend some time and enjoy yourself uh, as traveling and the facilities or the festivities in another country. And what do you think all the women here are just wife material? Do you think that they are what you want to, you know, raise your child with or to have raised your child? No, but everybody seems to think it's only about sex. You can get sex anywhere. You can get sex here in the U.S. Go to any fucking massage parlor anywhere or a massage spot anywhere and you can pay to go have sex. Those are all prostitution rink things. I don't fucking know exactly what they are. I just know that all of them have it. So It's not hard to get sex here, bro. Most women, you're paying for it one way or another. In their mind, it's all mythical, and it has these magic women who uh, don't need to be treated like humans and would gladly marry them and cook and clean for them, whatever. Magic women? That's a new one. Yeah, and right? They're going to go get the passport. Go. To More like the magic supermens that you're trying to manifest is way more out of fucking the realm of possibility than us finding a woman that is nice to us. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? To some country they don't give a damn about. Find this mystery fantasy. Do you give a damn about your country here? Because I know a lot of people that don't. So what does that make a difference? Woman. And then bring her back to no. America. Really? Why are you using all these words to describe foreign women? So they're getting their passport to bring back a mythical unicorn Stepford housewife mythical unicorn step food housewife wow <laughs> all these ways to describe foreign women simply for dating their passport bros do they really deserve that right i always gotta add in the, the unhappy women what do you think about passport bros? i think that they're very cool because a lot of dudes can't seem to meet people in the same state as them so they go overseas to meet other women that they could marry have family with have kids with and also women are looking for dudes who travel out and be tricks oh women what, what are you not looking for dudes to be tricks here you know like like that's the stupid shit that when they say shit like this do, do you do you not want men to spend money on you and do things for you here? Yeah, so that's like in your definition of tricking, is it not? So these men are going over there spending money on women who is considered tricking. So what? Men just trick everywhere then, if that's the case. You ain't gonna hit me though. You ain't gonna hit me though. Is you? I'm calling my daddy right now. I'm calling my daddy right now. Boy, that was funny. That yeah. was funny. Hopefully your father don't actually show up because if I was him, I would do exactly what I was prepared to do to your father. For I sure. Agree. You would got 50%. If he comes over thinking he's a superhero, you don't get 100. Don't care the age. He ain't my daddy. Yep. That's crazy. How just slapping a man like that. 
and she knows this man can destroy her. Cause as soon as he oh, got you know, up, you know, you know, you know, it's boom. She, she fell down knowing that she was about to get fucking rocked. And that's the sad part that people always want to argue against men. Oh, you shouldn't hit women. You know you're stronger than you. They're the, you know you're stronger than women. Do, do you, as a woman, do you not know that I'm stronger than you? Because if you knew that, then why did you hit me? Because I don't hit or attack people that I know can destroy me. I would never touch Mike Tyson. I would never touch M Floyd and Mayweather. They would destroy me. Logic. On earth, I declare and decree, I shall be a submissive wife unto you. So, let's be clear. I do agree with being a submissive wife. Okay. But you guys know that first, for her to be a submissive wife, you have to show that you are a leader, a protector, and provider, right? So maybe that's what she got. So all these passport bros that want to say that they want to go out of the country to find a wife that's going to do these things, these women are here. Mm. These women are here. I wouldn't but maybe say you a lot. Show the qualities that these out of country women would still be looking for. Don't take your Americanized self to another country and expect for these women to not expect high standards from you as well. They won't. <laughs> Let's be clear about that too. <laughs> On earth. It's funny that she thinks that women here qualify and that men here don't qualify, right? If that was, if you guys qualified and women over there are okay with the men here going over there and they seem to qualify for those women. So it might mean that you can't seem to understand with your American ways what a true provider and protector is. You don't actually know what a husband looks like. You don't know what a father looks like. You don't know what a man that can, takes care of everything looks like. That's probably why you haven't met the man. Because you don't qualify because those men look at you off the bat are not going to pursue. Food for thought. Whew, that was some chow, all right. You know, women out there are just upset. Men are upset. Dating coaches are upset. But fuck the dating coaches. Those are one people I don't give a fuck about, period. Women I actually do care for. And, you know, I care for you guys, men. So please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll get you guys next time. Ciao.